On the old system, I'd actually come in the day before, spend an hour and a half just getting set up for a brewery day. And now I've got an hour and a half twice a week to be able to get other things that need to be done. The first thing I noticed right away with the uh, Blickman mill, it's mobile, which is really good. We are limited on space. We don't really have a room to just set it in one place and leave it. So we can wheel it where we need it. We get all of our malt milled and then we roll it right back out of the way. It will hold a 55 pound bag of malt very easily. I went from 15 minutes for a 55 pound bag of malt to, I just timed this one last week, it's right at four minutes. So it's a huge saving for us time-wise. The hulls stay intact, which is great when we do our mash out because that hull separates the solids from the fluids. The transfer is very easy. We're transferring it two and a half, three gallons per minute, uh, which is much faster than, than our old system. Blickman's three and a half barrel system with the efficiency that we're seeing between the mill and the brew house uh, we're saving about 30 to 45 pounds of malt per brew day which is huge. We were paying around four cents a pound to have it done for us which adds up pretty quick. Another nice feature on this mill is if you need to stop it for any reason you can even with the hopper full at 55 pounds, it will restart and mill again. My old system, I would literally have to dig it one scoop at a time back out and then restart it. We, we mill on the day we brew. If you ask five brewers, you know, how long can you store crushed malts, you're going to get six different answers. Um, the, the thing that we had at our old place was our, where we stored it was not climate controlled. That's really bad for, for malts. And you know, you'll hear they're good for two weeks, two months, six months. I don't want to try it. You know, the way I fill malts, it oxidizes. It's like cutting an apple open. You don't do that until you're ready to eat it. So um, I'm surprised at the similarities between the homebrew side of the equipment and the professional side. Um, a lot of the false bottoms are identical. The way things work are very similar. Moving over to the Blickman professional side was a very easy step for us. 